in this sample video, what we're looking at is optical flow. Um, in particular, we're looking at dense optical flow, where what we do is we look at blocks across the scene and we try and find areas of the scene that have coherent motion in one direction of another, or another. And the output of the optical flow algorithm is the direction of motion and sometimes the magnitude of motion. In the videos that you're seeing here, um, what we have is an encoding where we're taking the direction component which is an angle between 0 and 360 and we're representing that with a colour uh, and I'm using the hue channel which again runs from 0 to 360 which is very convenient for the representation. Essentially motion from left to right looks red and motion from right to left looks blue. You can see from these videos that when you decrease the block size of the optical flow parameters, what you end up with is a much finer grain motion, but you also end up with a lot more noise. The video that's currently playing is one that I pre-recorded in the coffee room in computer science, and it has people moving around. Uh, there's somebody sitting down drinking a coffee who you'll spot from time to time appearing on the left, and then you've got people moving in and out of the coffee room. Um, You'll see from this that the optical flow calculations give you a fairly good measure of motion, but they also give you the direction fairly clearly. And they give you the direction in such a way that you don't just see that somebody's moving, but you see a little bit more, bit more detail about that. So if someone moves strangely or someone moves differently, you can tell that. You can spot the difference in motion between different people's legs and so on, and the, the swinging of the arms comes up in different colours and so on. So if someone were to walk strangely, then you'd be able to see this standing out quite clearly in the motion. So it's kind of a motion detector, but it's a motion detector with a lot more detail to it.